Bento. Hello everyone, this is Melody and welcome to my Kawaii Bento series. Today's Bento theme is going to be perfect for this series because I'm going to be making a super Kawaii Kerabent. Kerabent is short for character bentos and are popular among women and young children because of its anime-like designs. So now I'm in the kitchen and today I have all these amazing and adorable Japanese cooking tools. Some of these can be found at Japanese or Asian supermarkets as well as online. So for example, these are great for making perfectly shaped onigiris. So as you can see, it comes in a triangular shape so you can put your rice in here. And I actually didn't know this until I saw it, but there's actually snaps on the sides. So you can actually close it up like this and bring it just like this for your bento. So today I'm going to be using these three tools to make a kawaii animal bento. Animal and Melody Caravan. 子供たちが蓋を開けた瞬間、大喜びしてしまいそうな動物と音楽がコラボしたお弁当です。These are the ingredients for today's bento. The full ingredients list will be on my blog. So I'm going to start off by making the chirashi zushi, and I'm going to be using a pre-made chirashi mix so that it'll be very quick and easy. And you can also get these at Japanese or Asian supermarkets. First, mix the chirashi with steamed white rice thoroughly. Then, lay it evenly across the bento box, halfway as a base. Once that's done, scatter thinly chopped seaweed papers on top. Next, beat one egg with salt and meat or rice wine and cook with a pan so it becomes a thin sheet. Okay, so here is the finished egg sheet. And I'm going to go ahead and use the lid of my bento box. And I'm going to press so I can cut out the shape. Okay. And now I'm going to remove the edges. Put it right over the chirashi. And now it's finished. Now I'm going to be using the first tool to make the kawaii panda bears. And children would absolutely love it because it's very cute. First, wet the tool to prevent the rice from sticking. Gently put the rice in the container without squishing to create the panda's face. Press lightly with the lid to define the shape and gently take it out. Insert seaweed paper in the slit to cut out the face parts. Finally, place the pieces carefully on the face and you should end up with a cute panda bear. After you're done making two of them, place both next to each other on top of the egg sheet. Now I'm going to place thin seaweed paper strips to create five parallel lines. And the second bento tool I'm going to be using is this decorating pen. And I already put in the pre-made tsukudani, which is basically seaweed that's simmered in soy sauce and meat. I'm going to carefully draw a treble clef on the left side. This has a small tip, so it's very easy to draw curves, shapes, and words. And the third item are these cute little music notes, and I'm going to be using these to cut out the vegetables. Use two types of vegetables to cut out the shape, and place them on top of the five lines. Finally, terrace dishes have shrimp and eel in them, so I'm going to first curl up a shrimp and secure it with an animal pick. I'm also going to do the same with tomatoes, broccoli, and eel pieces with different colored picks. And now, here is my finished caravan. It seems as if the animals are all happily singing along together. A kawaii bento like this will surely help young children eat their veggies as well. Once again, additional details and the full ingredients list will be on my blog, fujisankei.com slash melody. Useful Japanese cooking tools make it a lot more exciting and fun to make your own homemade bento, so definitely try it out. お子様と一緒に可愛いグッズを使ってキャラクター弁当を作ればもっとランチタイムが楽しくなると思います。Happy cooking!